Okay, let's take a look at a model of a typical uh, neuron. Remember, neuron is the special name for the uh, nervous cells that are found uh, in the nervous system. And uh, just like any other cell, there's a cell body over here, complete with organelles, including the nucleus. Now, a little different from other cells, though, this neuron contains these processes that are coming off of the cell uh, body. And these processes are referred to as dendrocytes. Okay? And dendrocytes are structures that nerve cells use to communicate with other nerve cells. So, for example, here's a dendrite and it's allowing this cell to communicate with this other nerve cell over here. So this is how they communicate. Okay. Now, at the base of this nerve cell, there's this area kind of forming a little triangle here. This is called the axonal hillock. A-X-O-N-A-H-I-L-L-O-C-K. The axonal hillock is the area where the actual nerve impulses and that is the action potentials are generated. And these action potentials are generated down the axon of the nerve. And that's the other thing that's special about these nerve cells is they have a long tail, which is referred to as an axon. So if I go ahead, pop the top here a minute, you can see this axon represented in blue coming down here and it's communicating with a cell that is not a neuron. In fact, it's a muscle cell. So axons are the part of the cell that the neuron uses to communicate with other cells that aren't part of the nervous system. They're not neurons. In this case, it's a muscle cell, but it could be other cells as well, right? It doesn't have to be a muscle cell. It just is in this case, okay? So we have our axon running down here to communicate with this muscle cell. And since we're communicating with a muscle cell, we're communicating at the area we refer to as the neuromuscular junction. Now, why do we have all this sort of whitish material surrounding this axon? In fact, surrounding it in 360 degrees, right? Well, this is the myelin. Remember, myelin is that fatty white material that surrounds the axon. It helps to speed up the nerve impulses, helps to protect the axon. And myelin is made by one of two different cells. If this is a nerve cell in the peripheral nervous system, that means that this myelin is being made by Schwann cells because the helper cells in the peripheral nervous system that make the myelin are referred to as Schwann cells. If this is a neuron that's found in the central nervous system, then this myelin is being produced by a cell called an oligodendrocyte, because oligodendrocytes are the helper cells found in the central nervous system that go ahead and produce the myelin. Okay, and again, this myelin surrounds this axon 360 degrees. Okay. And there you have a view of the human typical neuron.